What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here, and today we're going to be opening up a set from back in the day, back in Sword and Shield era. It's not too old now, but it's getting older. We've got Lost Origin here. we got an ETB to open up. You can find these at like Walmarts and some local game stores right now. They're still selling for around MSRP, sometimes a little bit cheaper than MSRP. It's a great box to purchase, in my opinion, just because this is a, this is a fantastic set. Tons of great cards in this set. We're going to dig into this. We're going to see if we can pull that Altart Giratina V. That's the card I've been searching for for, like, since this set came out. So, like, two years now. We've been searching for this card, and I haven't been able to pull it, and I've opened thousands and thousands of packs straight up. That's not even a joke. But... We're going to go ahead and start off with a little warm-up first, and we're going to warm up with four packs of Stellar Crown. Now, this is the brand new set from Pokemon. It's actually not out just yet. There were pre-releases over the past couple of weekends. If you showed up at pre-releases, you can get, like, bonus packs and things like that. But this set does come out this coming weekend, so this coming Friday. Make sure you're checking it out. See if you want to, you know, pick yourself up some Stellar Crown. It seems like it's a pretty good set. Uh, I think Shrouded Fable was a ton of fun. Twilight Masquerade was a ton of fun. This set is, you know, a ton of fun as well. I think maybe not as good as those sets just yet, but we'll see. We, we, we still got time to find out, right? But let's go ahead and see what we got from these four packs of Stellar Crown as our warm-up. And then we're going to dig into that Lost Origin Elite Trainer Box. Just a short opening today. Just something fun. See if we can find something cool. Here's some code cards for you guys. Now, the code cards might not work until about Thursday or something like that. They might already be working. Let me know in the comments and let me know what you get from those code cards. But let's see if we can get something good here. We got Drift Blim. We got Payapa Berry. We got Reshiram, a Reverse Pancham, a Merrill, and a Caracosta to start off with that pack. All right, so nothing from that pack, but we got three more packs. Hopefully we pull something cool from Stellar Crown so I can show you guys some of these new cool cards that are coming out. There's a bunch of them. I did, uh, I did a little video of a pre-release, and we opened this Briar. That's one little hit we got from the pack, so check it out. We did a little pre-release opening if you haven't seen that one yet. Let's go ahead and see what we got from this next pack here of Stellar Crown. It's got Terrapagos on the pack art. Um, I, I, the Cinderace, I like the Cinderace. I, I don't know if there's a special illustration rare or not, but if there is... I would like, <clears throat> I would like very much to pull that. <laughs> you know, <let's, laughs> now there's also a Dox Bun EX special illustration rare that is super cool. I would love to pull that as well. So if we can pull that, that would be really good. We got Buffalon. Lots of people wanting to play this Buffalon. Very good. We got Gravity Gemstone and a Ladian. Now, this ability is kind of nice. It's it's not super great, but it's not bad either. It says when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon that has 90 HP or less remaining to the active spot. It's not horrible. I don't know how much use it'll see, but it's kind of cool. And then we got these cool new uh, energies as well. I, I can't wait to see a holographic version of those energies, like whether it's like a hollow pattern like uh, you know in 151 or in shrouded fable or whatever and, you know if we get a textured one oh that would be crazy all right let's dig into our next pack we got cinderace on the pack art right, let's see if we can get something good from this now cinderace including all of the gen 8 starters are now available in pokemon go if you guys have been playing for the past few days they are in pokemon go now you can catch them and you can uh, you know evolve them up to their final evolutionary forms which is really cool it's the first time for the gen 8 starters in pokemon go even though we already got the gen 9 starters in pokemon go kind of weird we got a mo rotom we got azumarill and another caracosta all right we're not we're not doing great with these stellar crown packs but you know what if we get all of the bad luck out of the way with Stellar Crown and just put all the good luck into Lost Origin, I, I might be happier about that. But let's go ahead and see what we got from our last pack of Stellar Crown here. And uh, hopefully we get something good, but like I said, check out the set. It's it's really cool. There's a bunch of awesome cards. There's a bunch of really playable new cards as well, so definitely worth looking at if you guys haven't seen it yet. But let's see what we got from our last pack. We got Ponyta, Cubone, Milsery. Glammeow, Electivire, Jirachi with the Swelling Wish. Always got to have some kind of wishing attack. We've got Phalanx, Finneon, and a Raging Bolt. Long Neck. All right, so no hits from Stellar Crown, but that's okay. I'll have a couple other Stellar Crown uh, packs to open in shorts if you guys are following along with my board openings. But let's go ahead and dig into this Lost Origin ETB and see if we can get something good. The board openings are a ton of fun if you guys 
if you guys like watching shorts and stuff, they're they're cool because we get to it's like opening and just one little pack real fast just to see. And I usually try and save it for you know fun little packs like uh, the prize packs or like if I haven't opened a pack of Lost Origin in a long time or something like that, you know. And so definitely check out the board openings. We got our little booklet here. Let's go ahead and do ourselves a little bit of pain and just look at the one card that we know we need that we just cannot for the life of us pull. There it is right there. The Giratina V Alternate Art. Such a great card too. I can't believe it. And so I had an opportunity to buy it at one point in time for like 180 to $200 and now it's up to like $400 or might be over $400 or something like that. I haven't been paying too much attention, but it's just gone crazy. And so now I'm like kicking myself as I toss this trash off to the side. Don't worry about the trash. The trash, we'll, we'll take care of the trash one day. We'll get we'll get there. We got eight packs of Lost Origin here. We got a couple of Giratina pack arts in there. I think that might be a good sign. Let's go ahead and see if we can hand you guys a little code card action for the ETB there. Gets you some sleeves, gets you some, some other cool stuff for the Pokemon trading card game live. We got our energies, we got our sleeves, we, you, you know what's in there. All right, we're going to toss that off the side. No promo cards in uh, the Sword and Shield era, which was kind of, you know, it's kind of sad, but there were promo cards in special sets like Shining Fates and uh, Pokemon Go and Celebrations, but not in uh, your normal sets. Even in the Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs, there were not any uh, promo cards, just different sleeves, and sometimes a pin. Oh yeah, there was a pin that came in the uh, Pokemon Center exclusive Lost Origin one, I remember. Let's do the old school four from the back to the front. Haven't done this in a while, but look at the back of that card. What is going on right there? Can you see that? Is it, oh, it's just, okay, it was just something on the card. All right, well, hopefully that's not Giratina V alternate art, but let's go ahead and see what we got. We got ourselves a Metal Energy, Machoke, Mirage Gate, and you need that in your Lost Box build, right? Lost Box is sort of falling off. A little bit sad, but maybe we see a little resurgence. We got Parasect and a Pidgeot V to start us off. We'll put Pidgeot V up there in the pull pool. Pidgeot V, not bad. Pidgeot V was a, uh, it was one of those cards that people used a lot uh, in the first iterations of Charizard because you could use this for, uh, it was actually used a lot in a few different decks like Stall, Snorlax, and Charizard, and so on and so forth, and it's been pretty popular, and it's because of this ability here. So once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle it and all attached cards into your deck. So you could basically get it on your bench, use your Forest Seal Stone, and then shuffle it back into the deck, and it wasn't it didn't it, it wasn't a two prize liability at that point. Very good card. Still in rotation right now, so you can still play it if you want, but. You know, it's kind of fallen out of favor because you can use Rotom B, which allows you to draw three cards. A little bit better for some deck archetypes, a little bit better sometimes, especially if you're playing like Tarot Scenario or Par Penny or something like that. It can be it can be all right. But let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got Hariyama, Arc Phone, Poliwag, Oddish, Growlithe. Let's see if we can get something good here. Maybe a Trainer Gallery? Okay, no Trainer Gallery. And an Aerodactyl V-Star. All right, two for two out of the ETB. Usually I don't get this lucky with Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Boxes. <laughs> usually uh, usually Sword and Shield is pretty pretty rough on the pull rates, but we're doing pretty good so far. Hopefully we can see a couple Trainer Galleries. Maybe we see an Alt Art of some form. Uh, hopefully that Giratina, and you know, that's the, that's the hope <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see. There's a code card for you guys, and we'll do four to the front, and let's see a Trainer Gallery. I'll take a Trainer Gallery out of this pack. All right, we got a Dark Energy to start. We haven't been guessing any energies, but you know what? Those are days gone past now. We're, we'll, maybe we'll guess for the next one for old time's sake, but I'm kind of over that. We got Box of Disaster and a Mr. Mime. I absolutely... Me and Mr. Mime, we don't get along. We don't get along anymore. Mr. Mime, uh, he kind of he kind of rubbed me the wrong way in Pokemon Go when they released Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Uh, Mr. Mime and Mr. Rhyme, excuse me. Call him Mr. Crime now. But uh, yeah, okay, let's just let's just keep, let's keep moving. Don't worry about the Mr. Crime. There's a code card for you guys, and we'll do four to the front, and let's see if we can get something good here. There's tons, tons and tons of playable cards in Lost Origins still actually. So. Um, like right there, Colrus's Experiment, super playable. We got Komala, we got Jinx, Hisuian Basculin, Makuhita, Bronzor. Let's see a Trainer Gallery, please. And we got a Radiant Guard of War. Okay, it's not a Trainer Gallery, but in these late era Sword and Shield sets, there were tons of Radiant cards. A lot of you guys still know about these. Radiant Greninja being probably the best one that ever came out of it. But Radiant Guard of War has seen a little bit of play here and there as well. We'll put that up in the pull pool. 
and uh, they'll all get sleeved. Don't worry. They're gonna get. We're gonna sleeve them. It's every, everything will be okay. Don't worry. They're just sitting there right now, hanging out with each other, a little bit, a little bit raw, raw backed, right? <laughs> okay. That's a, all right. Next pack of Lost Origin. We got Zero Zero Zero. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak right now. But there you go. There's a code card for you guys, and <laughs> we're gonna do four to the front and say lightning energy we get a fighting energy all right we're, we're out of the game we're, we're completely out of the game we got ourselves a zooey and growl with lick tongue slugma clefairy a palm the reverse is a dust ox and an, another dust ox you know what if it weren't my luck right you know let's uh, let's go ahead dig into our next pack here we got three packs remaining let me know what you guys think about the newest set stellar crown there's a bunch of new sets already being teased for uh, slated release you know here very soon as well and so let me know what you guys are thinking about those what you guys think about lost origin as a set you guys miss sword and shield i kind of miss sword and shield i miss a little bit of sword and shield sword and shield was pretty fun especially towards the late end of sword and shield there but scarlet and violet i mean anybody that argues it scarlet and violet is clearly the better era just for the amount of awesome hits you can get the amount of crazy cool artworks there are in these sets you know scarlet and violet is doing really really awesome but it's always good to look back at you know the older sets especially this set right here lost origin i love this set all right we got paris we got inkay turn it upside down for a malamar no it's a snover okay and behind it we have a greedent all right not too bad not too bad not great it's actually not good at all but we're gonna dig into our last two packs here we got the pen ultimate pack with enamorous i still still don't understand this pokemon you know there there's a chaos trio right that's thunderous tornadus landorus and then you have this one that is just all of a sudden added to it and you know how do you have a chaos trio if there's actually four of them that would be a quartet you know i i talk about this all the time maybe i talk about it too much let me know in the comments what you guys think there's a code card for you guys we'll toss that off to the side and we'll do four to the front and uh grass energy how about okay psychic energy. yeah we're out we're done we're done. That's it. We we keep this just it's we're done. Okay, we got Fantina. We got NK, another NK. We got Squobit, Phalanx, Poliwag, Oddish, the reverse. Oh no, reverse. We got a Parasect Trainer Gallery. Man, these trainer galleries. Look at these. These are such great cards. They they're very reminiscent of illustration rares in Scarlet and Violet era. Uh, but you know, when you take a look at it, you got the trainer that's in the artwork, and that's the point of the trainer gallery, is the trainer is also featured. So, there's really cool cards, really awesome cards. In the Sun and Moon, we had something called Character Secret Rares, which were very similar to these as well. But, yeah, we'll, we'll probably see a lot more of these throughout the, the coming years. And then behind it, we have a Raichu. Shout out to Poke Knowledge Cards. <laughs> Raichu's his favorite Pokemon, if you guys didn't know. Let him know. Let him know in the comments. Say hi, PK. All right, we got ourselves <laughs> we got ourselves our final pack of the video. Last pack, Magic. Gardevoir on the pack art. Lost Origin, my favorite set from all Sword and Shield. I would argue it's potentially the best set from all of Sword and Shield, except for maybe Crown Zenith. I know a lot of you Evolving Skies heads are probably like, what? Oh my gosh, no way, that's slander. Yeah, no, Evolving Skies wasn't even that good of a set. Sorry, guys. It's just, it just really wasn't. A lot of beautiful cards, but as far as the set as a whole, with playability and all that stuff, it just, the only thing it had going for it was the artwork and the expensive cards. Sorry. And you guys hyped all those prices, not me. But, <laughs> okay. All right, all right. We got Damage Pump. Well, last pack Magic. We got Shellos. We got Binnacle. Porygon. Ducklet. Can we get another Trainer Gallery? No, we get a Reverse Galarian Stunfisk and a Gliscor for the rare. But let me know what you guys think about Lost Origin, what you guys think about Pokemon cards in general. What's your favorite Pokemon? What's your favorite Pokemon card? Are you guys excited for the new cards coming out? Let me know in the comments, anything Pokemon related, and I'll see you guys in the next video.